Yes, sir. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squalia. We back at it with another Forza Horizon 3 build video, man. Still waiting. We got, I think, at this point, probably another couple weeks before Forza Motorsport 7 comes out. And I'm absolutely pumped, man. You guys let me know if you're ready for some Motorsport 7 videos down in the comments section. Now, I know Horizon 3 has been a big staple on this channel, really helped me build the channel um, since I've been uploading these kinds of videos. But I'm just kind of excited for a little bit of a different uh, venture, some new cars, maybe some new and exciting things, man. Uh, so I hope you guys are too. But in today's video, man, we have a request coming from a couple of different people on YouTube. If you guys don't know how we do it, one, requ one request per video uploaded, man. So let me know what you guys want to see down in the comment section. This one today, however, is coming from Sideways Slideshows and... Manolis Maraca, and they both want to see Evan Shanks SC300 Lexus. Now, I did see this one pop up on the channel uh, quite a few times from a number of different people, so if I didn't get your name, my apologies, but as I did say, we take one request per video uploaded, and then, uh, you know, naturally, we just have to keep the cycle moving, man. Um, so what we're going to do for today is jump up in the bike car section and see if we can find said... Lexus SC300 and it looks like this 1997 right here is going to be our vehicle of choice. Now obviously you guys know me I like to start out with a manufacturer color even though this is probably going to change well we all know it's going to change because for those of you guys who watch Evan Shanks videos uh, you know that his his Lexus is black uh, but for the time being man just for the sake of uh, you know saying that we did something we're gonna keep it the way that it is um, so right off of the bat I'm pretty sure this thing has the stock uh, 2JZ if I'm not mistaken naturally aspirated in it uh, so I think we're probably gonna go ahead and leave that in there now rear wheel drive naturally for this car with it being based off of a Supra platform we got to keep it rear wheel drive man um, now as far as the uh, turbo or induction goes I'm pretty sure Evan Shanks is running a single turbo setup on his car so we're gonna go ahead and install that now um, now we're gonna get into the aesthetics now front bumper wise I I just saw that he did like a drift bumper with kind of just a crash bar on it but when it does have the bumper on it it looks like it has oh man this is gonna be a weird call right here um, it almost looks like the vertex and the origin combined I'm gonna go with this vertex just for the for the sake of going with it um, I think it looks pretty close and he did just throw a big old wing on that thing so we're gonna go ahead and do the same for us uh, for ours now as far as the rear bumper it does look like a stock bumper even though I would probably like to change that myself just for the sake of the video um, we're gonna leave that stock because I know when we stray away from the uh, real product in these game builds, man, people tend to get a little bit excited. Um, so we're going to do the same for the side skirts, just leave them the way that they are. Um, now, as far as the tire compound goes, this thing is a drift car. So I'm going to go ahead and put a street tire compound, even though I naturally uh, normally would put a race tire compound. But... A lot of people, like I say, been getting excited in the comment section lately, and we're gonna we're gonna do something a little different here. See how she runs. Maybe we'll keep the the street tires. Maybe we won't. Now, as far as the wheels go, Evan does have I think two different sets of wheels. Uh, one, two on the front, two on the back. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and try to find the set that matches them both, kind of the same. I'll let you guys know when I find them. And I skimmed through all the wheels, and I think these HRE P43 SCs are going to be uh, pretty much identical to what Evan has on the fronts. Now, the rears are drift burners, so naturally those change a little bit over time. Um, but, you know, for the, for the overall look, I think these ones are going to be perfect. Uh, I'm going to big up that wheel size just a little bit. does look like he's running... A pretty low fro uh, low profile tire could be an 18 I think we're gonna leave the 19s on there just for the looks of it 
Um, now comes the fun part, driveline. Obviously, clutch is going to get upgraded. Uh, we need to mimic some sort of a welded diff, so we're going to go throw the race diff on there. Um, brakes, I'm going to do brakes just for my own personal preference. You guys know me. Uh, I like to stop in the video games. Uh, just just makes the experience a little bit better. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw any roll bars, both front and back, as well as some serious weight reduction. And I don't think this thing has a cage, so we're just going to leave the uh, interior the way that it is. Intake, we're going to go ahead and upgrade. Exhaust, we're going to go ahead and upgrade. I'm going to do some minor turbo modifications here just to get the power that I need to be able to make this thing drift properly. Oil cooling, uh, lightweight flywheel to help that rotational mass just a little bit. And, oh, we already did the intake. I'm going to go ahead and throw a fuel system as well as ignition on this bad boy. And now that we got that out of the way, I think we are just about ready to install this to the car. And now that we got all that out of the way, uh, we're ready to hit the tuning here. Now, obviously, you guys know me. I'm not too big on the gearing. I'm just a, I'm a ricer. I'm a stance boy. I just go all the way low. We're going to do a little bit of alignment. Even though this thing is set up uh, more so for drifting, uh, like kind of a legit setup, I'm going to do a little bit of some looks on this thing. Now, paint car, we need to change the color of this paint, obviously. This thing is black, so we're going to go ahead and paint that up all black. Um, now, the wheels are not chrome. They look more like a light gray, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Uh, maybe even a little bit darker, man. Let me see here. I think that's looking a little bit better, and we are going to go ahead and tint up those windows. And I think this is looking pretty close, man. I mean, I don't know. You guys let me know what else you would change, but is looking pretty close let's go ahead and save this to the current car and take this thing out for a boot see what it's all about now like i said before this thing based off of a toyota supra um obviously coming naturally aspirated uh i believe this here was what we got in like canada and the states also got this instead of the toyota supra um i think for emissions rules or maybe the fact that it was only available in right-hand drive. I don't think the Supra was available here uh, in Canada for purchase. So, you know, we got the Lexus naturally aspirated model. But for those of you guys who know, these cars with a little bit of mods really wake up. And, I mean, it's the same platform as a Toyota Supra. So if you can find this thing in manual, you're, uh, you're pretty much in the game. As, as well as the uh, the Lexus IS300s now too. Also the same motor, um, not the same body platform I don't think. They're a little bit, uh, the wheelbase is a little bit shorter, whereas these cars are a little bigger, rounder and stuff like that. Um, but I'm pretty sure the IS350s share the same engine and with a turbo you can definitely get those things rocking. I think when, you, when you're throwing a turbo on these na motors the biggest thing from my understanding is the head gasket as long as you change the head gasket you should be able to run some nice boost numbers on these na motors and i mean you guys know me if you don't if you haven't been subscribed to my other channel my real life channel i'm a nissan fanboy right so for me to jump into a toyota would definitely um that would be a big change for me and i'm not really sure how, how my, my friends and my fan base on YouTube on that channel would really react to it. But um, should I ever make the swap, I think it would definitely make a fun little project. But right now, I'm the proud owner of 2G35. So I, I mean, you know, for me to buy a Toyota at this point in the game would really be a blasphemy um, as opposed to what, what kind of content I've been putting out, you know, in the past. But as far as this thing goes, this is a well-rounded little car, man. It drives nice, handles nice. A little low on the power, like there's a little bit of turbo lag there if you're not in, high in the RPMs and you're not banking it off the rev limiter with your shifts. Um, when you're short shifting, you kind of notice a little bit, just a little bit of turbo lag, but it's nothing to be alarmed about. These two J's. That's kind of natural for them, especially with a big single turbo on it. It's just uh, takes a second to spool up. We are in the drift spot, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't been online 
in a while, man. This thing sounds amazing right now. Yeah, I haven't been online in a while. Uh, I don't even think my live membership is active right now. I gotta go. I mean, it's, you know, it's summertime, so I've been trying to do a lot of stuff outside, but let me just say, wintertime's coming real fast, so I got a feeling I'm gonna have to re-up on that very soon, man. But I'm thinking we're probably gonna put an end to this one. Um, I feel like I've been yammering on for quite some time. If you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like button. If you guys want to see more and you're not subscribed yet, uh, definitely do so. Let me know what you guys want to see down in the comments section as well, man. Because like I say, this is, uh, it's how this is that's how the channel works, man. You guys let me know what you want to see. I build it and so on and so forth. So as always, I'm your boy Dinali, a.k.a. Don Squally. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And we're going to catch y'all at the next one, man. Peace. Recovery of a lifetime. Oh fuck! Oh no! Oh! Ah. Yeah, keep on rolling there. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the racer. Anymore.